You cannot respect cheating, but not respect your spouse. Now, let me be 100% honest with you. All men do not cheat. Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. I am Samantha and I am the Lux Wife and welcome back to another Wife Talk Wednesdays. It's Wednesday and we are getting juicy. We we are talking some good stuff today. Respectful cheating. Why is that even in the question? Why is that even a thing? Let's talk about it. If you're new here, you definitely want to go ahead and hit that subscribe button and hit that like button and go ahead and hit that notification bell. That way you can be notified every single time I upload a new wife talks. And if you're not new here, welcome back. So guys, without further ado, let's go ahead and get straight into today's video. So let's go straight into it. Okay. In today's time, there is this new topic of respectful cheating. I have not heard of such until, I don't know, in its recent years and how common it is that I am just, I am honestly like mind blown. And I'm also wondering, when did it become a thing? If you do not know what respectful cheating is, according to modern day society, respectful cheating is when your significant other has someone a, you know, mistress or whatever on the sides and they know not to make their mistress relationship messy so in layman's terms the mistress isn't calling the house if the mistress sees him and his wife out in public she's not running up to him she's not making things awkward honestly i don't know how to even um call someone I don't want to say stupid without blatantly calling them stupid but I just feel like that opens not only a can of worms but it just opens so much more okay I know people value marriage just like I value my marriage I know there's a commitment when it comes to being married to your spouse there's also a commitment when it comes to having children and wanting them to be developed and nurtured in a two-parent household I get all of that but I am not at the point where I'm willing to risk my sanity or my peace of mind to allow my significant other to have someone else and just be okay. Are you guys okay if you think that's okay? Because I just, I'm trying to wrap my head around it. Um, now, here's the thing. I have seen on numerous occasions, pretty much like you guys have possibly seen on numerous occasions, how essentially cheating is a rich man's game. That's something that they can afford financially to be able to have a wife and a family and to also have someone else on the side to be able to provide for. If that is the case, that means that whoever their significant other is, whoever their spouse is, they have agreed to some type of uh, arrangement between the two of them. And if they've agreed to that, they've agreed to that. But to label it as respectful cheating to make it seem like, why is respect and cheating in the same sentence, you know? But to label it as respectful cheating as if there is a way to um, downplaying hurting someone's feeling, I just, I just can't get with it at all. Because next thing you know, it's going to be gentle betrayal. And how can you gently betray someone? Because that's what y'all doing. That's what you're doing. That is exactly what you're doing. Open up a can of worms. Honestly, when it comes to being unfaithful, it's just so, it's just, it's, it's, it's a slippery slope. It's, it is a slippery slope. It's so many things out there from diseases. It's just so many things that you could be bringing back home to your spouse that it just does not make sense. Okay. So, if you're in a situation where you feel like, okay, if he cheats, at least he was respectful about it. At least he was. I want you to be able to have enough self-worth to step away from that and understand that 
your body belongs to your spouse okay you and god and your spouse it's the only people okay and if they feel as if they need to have someone else they don't respect you and they don't love you you can't put respect in cheating together and put respect in being a spouse together it just does not go hand in hand you cannot do that at all okay it's just you can't do it now let me be 100 honest with you all men do not cheat okay i know there is just i don't go sitting back in your chair like girl you must not know D -d look i don't d i don't need you doing all that okay because all men do not cheat okay it's the men that you are continuously dating the pattern of men that you're dating that continuously cheats okay all men do not cheat Okay, there are men who love their wives, who love their spouses, that when it comes to their marriage, it is their marriage, regardless of the money they make, they can be millionaires and billionaires. They're not stepping out on their wife because they value their spouse. They respect their spouse. You cannot respect cheating, but not respect your spouse. It doesn't, it doesn't go hand to hand. It just, it doesn't make sense. Okay. All men do not cheat, just like all women do not cheat. There is this whole conundrum of how women are better cheaters than men and etc. etc. I don't care how the rules are played, I don't care how the games are played. No one deserves to be cheated on, no one deserves to be disrespected, and uh, ultimately. As I said before, you have to go where you're celebrated and not where you're tolerated, okay? I want my husband to love me endlessly. I want him to, when he sees me, he doesn't see me with anyone else. He doesn't see me being shared with anyone else. He doesn't see him being with anyone else. He doesn't see his body being shared with anyone else. I think it's more important for us to get into the space and understanding that, yes, you can have a whole healthy relationship, a whole healthy marriage without putting in there, without having this contingency, oh, well, if you cheat, please don't do X, Y, Z, or please don't let it be X, Y, Z, because the cheating happens, you accept them back, and they're like, oh, I won't do it again, and then it happens again, so now you're trying to figure out how to navigate the relationship with the consistent cheating, and then things can escalate and get worse. What happens if they have an outside child? Now, that's something you have to deal with, and I don't. not only did it just affect you two, now we're in a situation where things are trickling down to the children. And at what point did respect play in that? It didn't. It didn't. Not at all. So you have to understand as much as you respect yourself, as much as you respect being a parent, you have to understand like, like, these are the things that I'm going to tolerate and these are the things that I'm not going to tolerate. It's not an if, it's not a when. This is either you're going to be this way and you're not going to be this way, okay? Now, have there been relationships where someone has stepped out and the relationship has healed, they've moved past it? Absolutely. There have times where relationships have People have had their own little worlds going on. Things happen. They separated. I'm not saying separated completely, but mentally separated, not physically separated, okay? They mentally separated and things have happened and they repaired their marriage. They went to counseling and they are back on a healthier road. Congratulations. I'm so happy because at the end of the day, you have to do what makes sense for you and what makes you happy. But if you're going to move on, if you're going to move forward then you can't bring those things up in the past you can't hold things over someone's head that's just something you can't do but i also want you to understand that respectful cheating it does not belong in a relationship okay it just does not belong in a marriage if i love you so much why would i do something to genuinely hurt you and i know it's going to hurt you you know, it's like, I don't want to see my husband stress. I don't want to see him hurt. 
and the outside forces there are so many external forces that can put you in a bad space why would i or you or someone decide to add to it it doesn't make sense right it, it, exactly it just doesn't make sense so i don't want anybody to ever feel like respectful cheating is just okay that's just what it is nowadays we'll work past it and if someone has deemed something respectful when it comes to cheating that is their way of acknowledging their foolishness and trying to make you make sense of their foolishness okay because you and i both know you and i both know we know that's just that's not that's not the way the game goes that's not that's not the way the game goes okay and i know a lot of people want to blame it on well in today's time things are different Th things at the end of the day a man is a man and a woman is a woman okay what they have access to may have changed okay you probably right what they have access to may have changed but i promise you some of the most healthiest and strongest relationship the last thing they ever had to deal with was cheating so i don't want anyone to feel or to think as if they have to accept someone back or continuously have to accept or be in a marriage where cheating is a thing and it's so much cheating that it becomes common and that even if they move on to a new relationship or a new marriage that that's just what it is um baby that's not what it is that's 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 mm, that's not what it is i oftentimes hear celebrities talk about how you know well they're just going to cheat you just going to have to accept it no you don't no you don't no you do not you do not have to accept it stand your ground put some umph in your chest and you do what you have to do okay staying hurts but also getting your feelings hurt okay so if i'm gonna get my feelings hurt i might as well leave i'm not staying i'm not that's a double hurt i'm i got cheated on i'm hurting and now i'm staying and i'm hurting no no if you you need some support i'm here to support you and i'm here to tell you if you are in a situation where you are repairing your marriage from anything significant like that then i get it repair your marriage fight for your marriage but we're not normalizing cheating that's not what we're doing we're not normalizing stepping out on your spouse we're not normalizing uh, putting our family in uncomfortable positions the minute i walk out of this house the minute you walk out of this house you're a re representation of your family and the same thing goes for your spouse so with that being said we're not going to normalize stupidity we're not going to normalize hurting someone okay we all want to love we all want to be loved but we don't have to get somebody before they get us and we don't all have to be so selfish that we put our feelings first all the time when something goes wrong that you know what in order to get my way i'm going to do xyz because you're burning your own bridges okay and that's as simple as that so respectful cheating no it's, it's out the question but guys listen i don't even know um again how did that become a thing when did that become a topic but it became a topic in the last couple years and probably longer maybe i'm just now i'm getting hip to the hip talk and i'm starting to hear about it but i wanted to address it and let you guys know that no that's 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 not okay that's not okay it's never okay and it will never be okay okay that's it i enjoyed it today i enjoyed this conversation this was a little bit juicy okay but until next time until the next wife talks wednesdays which is next week as always i will see you guys later bye